This is a demonstration of the new algorithmic modeling capability in NX. Uh, in this simple example here, I'm going to show you a rule for uh, creating philotactic spirals, <laughs> which are uh, a pretty cool thing. Um, Philotaxis is the, uh, as it says here, is a study of the arrangement of leaves on a plant stem, right? Uh, so you get some interesting plants like this one here that have some kind of spiral arrangements. There's some mathematics behind this involves the golden ratio and some cool things, but, but there are some uh, really cool examples in nature right, of, of these kinds of, of, uh, of spirals that seem to spiral in, in a couple directions at once. So with that, uh, it, we're going to do some of that inside an X. This is the kind of thing, this kind of complex patterning or, or interesting patterning, variational patterning kinds of things, uh, are, are, are the kinds of uh, modeling situations that, that algorithmic modeling is really, really well suited to. Uh, and so, so we'll see that here as we uh, as we look at this. Uh, I'm not going to build this from scratch because that'd take a little while. But uh, as we launch into this algorithmic feature here, we've got a, a palette up here at the top where we can go look at a, a whole bunch of nodes that are inside NX here, and do various uh, interesting things. Some of these are simple things, selection inputs and so forth. Uh, some of them are very common things with extrudes and revolves and those kinds of features. Uh, others are a little more interesting things, things like Voronoi cells and, and some things like that that, that do some very unique uh, unique bits. Uh, I'm going to open uh, an existing one here. This is an existing rule. We can save these, of course, and, and, uh, and use these, reuse these here. Um, and this, this, is, uh, this is the math, right? So this lays out uh, this thing. Uh, we'll, we'll look at a couple of things here along the way. On the left-hand side here, we've got some inputs. There's a body and a face and a few numbers here that are inputs. Those, of course, are flowing into some other nodes that are doing a variety of combinations of those numbers and or those, uh, those values. Uh, on the, the right-hand side, we'll have an output node. Right? And this will define, uh, essentially, as it says here, the, the objects that are going to persist when the, the rule uh, gets added to this part here. Uh, there may be some other construction geometry and things that we don't show in the end, but the, the final geometry here, things that we pipe into the output node, will show up there. Um, last note here, of course, is a Boolean feature that's actually going to subtract a bunch of holes out of, out of this disk. These uh, holes are driven by the cylinder uh, node right here. We haven't built any of them yet, and, and so this, uh, if we look at this point right now, this is going to have an empty list here in the data. Uh, but let's go satisfy some inputs, and uh, and we'll start to see some geometry. So we have a body that we need here. We'll select this body, of course, and a face down here, and we'll select that front face for this. And with that, this is going to go off and, uh, and start to build uh, some holes. So there we go. So this is kind of our, our default uh, set right here. There's a, a diameter factor here that, that's kind of a scaling factor as we go away from the center. So the, as you can see, of course, the diameters here are varying. Uh, as we get closer to the outside, they, they are getting larger. Once closer to the center are smaller there. And you can see that kind of double spiral pattern uh, in there, the, the philotactic spiral going on, which is pretty cool. Um, as we come out here and look again at our, our cylinder list out here at the end now, everything's green, everything's satisfied, and uh, as we look at the display data here, we've got uh, how many of these in here now? Uh, looks like 275 points that, that are getting created at this particular set of parameters uh, in, uh, in, this, in this feature. Uh, as we do this here, we'll say finish. This will take us back out to our, our uh, model history that we're familiar with. And, uh, and inside the model history here, we'll see that this is packaged as, as a feature, right? It's an algorithmic feature, just like any other feature in NX. And, uh, and we can interact with it that same way too. We don't need to go back to that full graph to do it. We can actually just double click on this guy and get the, the specific inputs for this. We wanna, if we want a more sparse pattern here, we can put in some lower numbers there at the, at the front. That'll give us uh, that kind of a pattern, right? If we want to get a little crazier there, we can we can put in some pretty large numbers here, actually, and you'll see we'll get a lot of, of circles there quite quickly. Um, so response is quite nice on this, and uh, yeah, we can see here they're starting to overlap a bit, and so we'll come back and uh, it's the robustness of, of NX there working nicely for us, and uh, we'll come back and, and change that diameter factor, scale those a little differently as they head out toward the outside, and uh, there we go, and we'll get that kind of a look. Right, 
again, very large number of features going, uh, 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 booleans really, right? This geometry that's getting subtracted away in, in this particular case. Uh, if we want to go back and edit the definition of that rule, we can come back in here and edit definition, and that'll take us in to uh, the logic editor environment again, and uh, we can see how that's all put together, right? Uh, oh yeah, we have our larger number of, of cylinders here now as well, so we could come look at our list here. Uh, what are we up to now? We've got, it looks like, uh, yeah, 450 in there now, so it was 275-ish before. So again, large numbers of instances here, varying geometry along the way. Uh, there's a lot of uniqueness in this pattern, of course, uh, and of course mathematically driven uh, along the way, right? Uh, this this Philotaxis spirals node right here actually is just renamed. It's it's really a point on face command. So in the end, we've got a, a face, that, of course, that we've piped in from from before. Uh, list of UV parameters, right, that are coming into this particular one based on the previous calculations. And uh, and and so by the time we get to this node right here, uh, again, we've got a set of UV parameters here that are that are just getting dumped into there to uh, to create those points. And uh, and then we can go put some take those points and and send them to the cylinders those become the cylinders uh, cylinder locations for all these guys so um, simple introduction there see kind of the basics of, of how that works uh, again oh the user interface we were looking at actually is defined right down here as well we have the the inputs that show up will come along here this uh, down here tells us which ones to show in the dialog which ones not to show and uh, and the order in which we'll present those we can drag those around and rearrange those to uh, to to preview and to use this this dialog to interact with with that we can do that from here as well right if we want to oops let's go there and uh, there for instance and that will yeah get us a little more a little more sparse pattern yeah there we go so hope that's useful to you